deterrence may be the tone required to stem insecurity in Nigeria. Operatives of the Nigerian police have arrested a deadly bandit, Bilo Muhammad, who is suspected to have, involved, to have been involved in the murder of hostage Nabina al Kadir. In a statement, the police force relations officer, Olumi Adejabi, said Muhammad was arrested at a hotel in Kaduna on the 20th of January. Majid, justice, justice, justice. The police, uh, they did it. Unfortunately, Nabila, Nabina was uh, killed. Um, so sad. Um, but I, I think the police did a very good job. Mm. As, I mean, I could see the IG also commending the DPO uh, in Kaduna, who <clears throat> facilitated the arrest of this uh, 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 notorious uh, uh, criminal, this, this bandit, uh, 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 Belo Mohammed. Uh, he was arrested with 2.5 million naira. Mm. And out of the 2.5 million, he was offering the police officer that came 1 million, million, one million naira. He was even saying he could up it. But I think kudos to the policeman too for not uh, taking that because we've seen instances where. Uh, if the price was right, uh, they let some of these uh, characters yes. go. It's so, um, it is a very good development, and I, I, I expect that the police will use this Belo Mohammed as a, a point of connecting others. No. Uh, I mean, imagine uh, the family was kidnapped in mm. uh, Abuja. They had their camp in Kaduna. Mm. So, you could, I mean, how many, like how many uh, kilometers, kilometers away? You have walked. So, um, it's a very good effort uh, by the police, quite commendable, but they need to do more because Ab Abuja is fast becoming a place where, I mean, it's, uh, people are uh, becoming very uh, weary of uh, uh, going to, especially with the uh, uh, the rising rate of a uh, kidnap, and it, uh, I, I could see that even the minister and the other uh, security uh, uh, operatives in Abuja, they are doing something about I think we are seeing results. But mm -hmm. they should, we need to get more of these people and uh, give them that punishment that they deserve and so that you can give uh, others, uh, can serve as a deterrent uh, to, to, to others. You know, this is a good development. When we start hearing that this uh, bandits have been apprehended, prosecuted, and, you know, justice is served. Yes, we, we have to win the war. And I'm happy that the FCT minister is now taking security seriously. You know, I said on this program that Wiki was giving so much attention to River State as if it was... Um, hired as Minister of River State Affairs. <laughs> but less than 24 hours after I challenged him, he called an extraordinary yeah, emergency too. security meeting where certain decisions were taken. And I can tell you that in the last two weeks, the police and the other security forces have been doing very well in the Abuja area. Yeah. What they were not doing before, doing land and area surveillance of the FCT area, especially the border communities, yeah. because it's those border, it's in those border communities that we are having these problems. It's not as if it's gone into uh, the metropolis. Mm -hmm. It's just on the outskirts, the border with Niger, the uh, border with Kogi, mm -hmm. the border with Nasarawa. Nasarawa. Yeah. These are the places, these were the main, the border areas. with Kaduna, these are the main areas where we are having this problem. You know, because Buari is on the way to Kaduna. So these things, they, they are now working hard. Some of those forests are being uh, targeted now by um, the Air Force. And of course, they are doing a lot more surveillance. In the, past, in the past, in the last two weeks, 
if I arrested 139 kidnappers in the Abuja area alone, yeah. mm. they didn't make this kind of breakthrough before now. Mm. Because all eyes are on them, mm. people are screaming that, look, Abuja has to be better protected. In fact, I've had some naysayers, the usual naysayers, mm. saying Tinubu has deliberately made Abuja um, insecure to facilitate his return of the federal capital to Lagos. <laughs> it's it's power, such yeah. ridiculous thinking <laughs> by some people who claim to be educated though, that a president will just wake up one day and say he's moving the federal capital. Which president has that kind of power? Because this, our constitution recognizes Abuja as our capital. So where are you taking uh, us to? He said Tinubu deliberately made Abuja uh, insecure. And uh, what we are talking about is not the, even the, the rule. Of city to it's not the seat of power, for God's sake. It's just some communities yeah. uh, 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 in the Santa Fe. In the Oscar. Oh, so now they know they have to work Bwa hard. We are Bwari, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they will not stop. <laughs> but you know, as the minister, mm. uh, the city minister said something the other day that the chairman of those Abuja uh, um, municipal council, municipal council mm. were not holding security meetings. Mm. That any of them that face to hold security meetings is going to declare that person a security risk. Yeah. Mm. So that security uh, uh, agents can come for that person. So it shows that even Wiki's attitude has tough. changed. Yeah. So he knows that if he does not secure the people, mm. whatever he's doing, because he's doing That's a lot a of roads, drive. whatever he's doing mm. in that area, people will not Appreciate, uh, it. appreciate it because they want to be protected and they want to move around. Mm. Still in Abuja, as we speak, you see many communities, in fact, close to the seat of power without uh, street lights. Mm. It will be very dark at night. Mm. You'll be scared. So they need to, to protect our people a lot more. Hearing about kidnapping of people on the, uh, around Lugbe area on the way to the airport is, mm. is something that is disturbing. It's scary. It's quite scary. It's disturbing. Yeah. All right, and finally... As the super egos 